Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we beat Team Aqua in uh, uh, the Seafoam Cavern. And we also saw the Groudon and Kyogre, the two uh, weather Pokemon, fighting it out in Shutapaga City. Today, we will head through the Cave of Origin. And yeah. See what I can find here. My repels went off, that's fair. Ah, so you are April. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Vargas. I was once the gym leader of Zootopolis, but something came up. So now, I've entrusted my mentor Kwan with the gym's operation. Crowdon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There's one more somewhere. Somewhere, there's a super ancient, ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. 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 It's said that it was Rayquaza that becomes the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. April, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. Um, how about the Cave of Origin? But that's right here, I need you to do better than that. But uh, come on. Mount Pyre? But when I met the old lady there earlier, she had no mention of it. I very much doubt that the old lady would try to hide something from me. Sky Pillar then. The Sky Pillar? That's it, it must be the Sky Pillar. April, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. And yeah, I guess that's where we'll be going. After we've used the Rebel of course. So, the uh, Rayquaza is in the Sky Pillar, that's fair enough. This cave is really short, I, I expected it to be longer. In the Ruby and Sapphire, I think uh, it is where um where you fight uh, either Groudon or Kyogre. Um, depending on the game you, um, you picked, but I don't know. At least that's the case in like, uh, in the uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Thank you for waiting, blah blah. Hope to see you again. And yeah, here on Route 131, there is the Sky Pillar. We've already visited, but the place was rocked. Yeah, right here. The Sky Pillar. Isn't any tower a Sky Pillar, if you think about it? Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I did not notice that I left you behind. I've opened the rock door of the sky pillar. April, let us be on our way. It's an earthquake. There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry. I'm, I'm sorry for my voice, but that's totally how I env envision Val Valor speaking. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. April, Rayquaza should be farther f up from here. Everything is in your hands, don't fail us. Yeah, I'm really sorry for his voice, but that is, really is just how I envis envision him talking. And this is a fairly easy dungeon so far. Are there wild Pokemon here? I guess there are, fair enough. Hello Sableye. I'm not in the mood for you, so I'll uh, 
run away and use her, use her repel too. God, I'm eating through my max repels rather quickly like this. I'll show you that. Uh, the gimmick, gimmick here are these uh, cracks in the wall. In the floor, sorry. But you can fall through. If you, uh, yeah. That's basically it. If you step on these cracks, you fall through the floor. Huh. Can't really... Oh wait, never mind. I'm an idiot. Also, is that... That's, uh, huh. Wait, no, this is the roof of this place. That was, uh, short. The awakened Rayquaza flew off. Hop. Off to Sutapolis, I guess. That's the only way he could have gone, I guess. Yeah, it's a cutscene. Huh. Up. I guess it's peaceful again. What do you two say? Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The Red in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. Ha 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 ha. Maybe what we are trying to do was something small, even meaningless to Pokemon. So, the super ancient Pokemon weren't only Groudon and Kyogre. After all our fruitless scheming and frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple action puts everything right again as if nothing has happened. Phew, ha ha ha. Huh, they're gone. April, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sutapolis, no, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift for me, please accept it. HMO7, what does it contain? Waterfall. If you have the rain badge, a Pokemon that has learned that HM move can force its way up waterfalls. And where the, does one get the rain badge? After you've sneezed, that is, I will explain. You know, don't you? That's right, you have to beat the Sutapolis gym leader. When you're all set up to go, step through that door. It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone way, way away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pyre to return those our orbs. I, I, I'm genuinely cu curious if they did actually go to Mount Pyre. I, 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 I genuinely want to know that. Help curiosity kills the... Kills the cat, I guess. Oh hi, this is Isabel. Come on. Bell's effect for off. Damn it, of course that happens. It's a shepherd. Oh well, um, I don't really want to. Take care of the gym this episode, so it would be a good uh, 
time waster. I I don't want this episode to be that short, but also it it is the climax of the game, so yeah. God damn it, still. This is a pain. Like, really a pain. I'm going to use a repel because I'm actually... Wild Pokemon is so annoying. Like, actually, that that's such a pain. They really are. Anyway, luckily I don't have to go through all these floors on Mount Baya. So yeah, that, that does save quite a bit of time. And this will save even more time. Oh, they, they did actually go to Mount Baya, unironically. April. Dot dot dot. Huh. Oh, you're that girl. The two men f took the orbs, who, who took the orbs came back to return them on their own. Those men, perhaps they are not so evil after all. It is my role to pass on the legends who fall into future generations. The crisis that just ended in Sutapolis rewrote a legend. Do you have time to hear the new legend of Owen? It happened long, long ago. The world was wrecked by a ferocious clash between the Pokemon of the land and the Pokemon of the sea. The one of the land raised mountains and created continents. The one of the sea raised huge wave, waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duo raced without end. The world was engulfed in massive fires and vicious storms. It was then that the Pokemon of the sky descended from a storm. That Pokemon, shining a vivid green, becomes the two enraged Pokemon. Then it's duty done. It it's duty done. Done. The green Pokemon flew off in to the wild blue yonder. Oh that's that was it. Huh. Alright. Yeah, well yeah, that was basically what we just witnessed. Anyway, let's head back to Sutapaga City. And... Why won't you go out of the way? You really don't want to go out of the way, huh? Hop. Um, how long have I been recording for? 13 minutes. Ah... It's kind of short, but I, I guess I want to... I guess so. Um, I guess I'll end the episode, so next time we'll uh, fight Rita Kwan, the gym leader with the beauty of pure water. See you guys then.